we are we like live? We're live at 11:05. We're live at 11:05. I'm BC. This is Spirit Cars, and I'm actually putting a car together. Uh, a lot of parts, all kinds of parts. You put the parts together, and you get one car. So we've been talking about this T bucket. I kind of threw the front end together just so you can kind of see what's going on. Now I'm starting to tighten it up and, and put it together right. And uh, without planning, you just caught me where I'm at today. This is what I got to get done anyway. And uh, it's live at 11.05, so we're here. Hope everything's going well with you. They say it's gonna be a tough week for some people and it's always a tough week for some people. For other people, it's a great week, so Take it when it's good, take it when it's bad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice, be glad in it, because it's an awesome day here in the Ozarks. We're putting brakes on a tea bucket. And uh, I kind of talked about uh, some of the issues. So we've been putting this on teabuckettv.com, uh, or teabucket TV on the YouTube channel. So if you follow them one after the other, one after the other, one after the other, and go to that, You'll kind of get a breakdown. We're not doing an edited version, which would make it a lot easier to follow. We're just going live and you're having to watch me do some things that take a little time. But I've tried to kind of go over the process of putting the front end together from, we talked about uh, putting shackles on and stainless and using uh, um, anti-seize. I talked about, I don't like this. These bolts stick out a little bit. You can see they don't hit on the axle, but they're awful close. It just doesn't look right to me. We went ahead and put the drag link on. So I've got a drag link between the two. Now the difference on the steering, this has got slingshot steering. So this steering arm is gonna go from here to the Pitman arm on the, on the Vega steering box. Otherwise we can go cross steer where your steering box would be here and it would come across and there would be two holes in your steering arm over here and it would steer from this side so this wheel would steer both of them as it is you can see that wheel there steers both of them through the drag link we put a pan hard rod on so that keeps the shackles from you know moving the front end back and forth a little bit i mentioned that we want to put this bolt in here before we tighten that up if you got a spirit style make sure you do that uh, these are going to be shocks just changing out this on the shackle Instead of having the one piece, we got the triangulated piece and it will go on how it goes on. Tightened up all, started tightening up my bolts on my steering arms, on my slingshot arm. I'm just being diligent to tighten up the bolts, go one, go to the next. The radius rods are tight, getting everything tight. On the GM calipers and rotors, they don't exactly fit so what you've got to do is take the race that comes with the bearings so you got your bearing and your race now there's already a race in here in the caliper or I'm sorry in the rotor we've got to knock this inner bearing this inner race out and replace it with this race so I'm gonna let you watch me do that and well, here's a helpful hint whenever you break that handle on your hammer Go ahead and weld you up a nice handle. This is all metal. It ain't going to break again. It gives you a lot of weight on it. Didn't take nothing to do. Hand hammers are pretty expensive. This hammer will last past my lifetime. I can pretty much guarantee it. Uh, it'd be better if you had like a, a chisel or something, but there's a lip. When this drives up into there, you can catch a little bit of this lip on the inside. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to beat that out of there. It'll take me just a second. But I'm not a mechanic, this is not my expertise. So you are more than welcome to come up with a better idea. And if I think it's a better idea, you may see me using it this time. And that's kind of how we learn is passing it on to the next generation. Stuff that gets forgot. I think we talked about that not too long ago. There's nothing new under the sun all been done before but maybe not in our lifetime or we've maybe not seen it before but that's the kind of thing we can pass down. Okay. So 
goes out. Took a little bit, but wasn't that bad for live live TV. Not too bad. So the difference between these two, you can kind of see this one's a little thicker. So the bearing's going to sit down farther into that, and that's going to let me push it closer to the uh, to where the caliper is going to center in it. Kind of center it up in there. Again, I am open to ideas, so if you got better ideas than me here, help us out. But I take the old race, and they are so similar that you probably ought to be very careful to not put the old race right back in while you're holding the new one in your other hand, which I don't know what I've done that, but I probably have. I don't know. Something I would do. This is going to go in past the collar just a little bit, and the second race will get stuck in there slightly, probably. starting to go into that collar. Make sure you set it all the way to the bottom. And you can kind of feel here too when it sets itself into the bottom. Make sure that race is all the way down into it. Now I can do the same as I did before. Only don't hit the race that's supposed to be in there. Hit that second race. out pretty easy. Now I've got the proper race in, got my inner bearings, got my outer bearings. This is the time you want to grease it, get it all greased, get it all greased. Make sure you're you're good to go and you're going to put a seal in. So you want a seal on the inner side, which I'm not going to put in now until I grease this. Once I get that seal in, I'm ready to go ahead and put the brakes on. Uh, Get my calipers on, put my caliper bolts in. Kind of, kind of getting there. So, we may do another video on this, make them short ones so that we can just kind of go one after the other on the T-Bucket TV thing in YouTube. And that way we can uh, kind of show you how this whole thing goes together. And what else we want to do? We want to, if you like this, yeah, like and subscribe. I don't do sign language, but I'm getting signs here. Like, subscribe, share, do whatever else you do. What else can you do? Mm, turn your notifications on. Turn comment. Those, oh, comment. Yeah, comment. If you got a better way to do this, please let me know. That didn't take that long. I don't know, a couple minutes. And you watched it live, so that's how long it takes. But uh, there's probably a better way. One is get a, a, a better punch that would do it instead of a... It's kind of soft and take some of the impact here, so that's different. Why don't you tell them what Spirit Cars is, if they're just like watching it for the first time? Well, we build cars. Spirit Cars, we build a lot of kits. We do a 23, a 27, we do a Model A complete line. We got a sedan, we got a, a coupe, we got a Model A Roadster, 20, 29, 30, 31. We got a sedan delivery, we do a 32.5 window, a 32.3 window, we got a 34 coupe, we got we just do all kinds of stuff. We're car related and we got some big news coming up. We're doing a major expansion here coming up pretty soon, but we'll save that till we're, we're a little closer on that. But it's a, it's a pretty major deal for what we got coming on. So I guess we're to the point where I got to give you a warning. If you're sensitive, I mean, if you've been triggered already, it's going to get worse because we're talking about a bunch of parts becoming a body. So I got thinking today, there's a good body story that I'm gonna read here. And th this applies not just to cars, 
but it applies to our culture and uh, honestly and our body when I've got some kind of foreign body causing confusion in my body my body's going to fight against it because it's not part of the body and as Americans right now we got stuff going on that we got to come together and pull together and help each other out and those that want to cause confusion and division and a problem are not part of the body and it's going to not be good at some point for some of those folks but we're talking about the scripture now so warning warning you've had your warning time to get out if you don't like this part we did our our car stuff so here we go um there's a bunch here but i'm just going to read some of this keep it quick i don't want to preach but for the body does not consist of one member but many if the foot should say, because I am not the hand, I do not belong to the body, that would not make it less a part of the body. And if the ear should say, because I am not an eye, I do not belong to the body, that would not make it any less a part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, would there be any, any hearing? If the whole body were an ear, would there be any sense of smell? But as it is, God arranged the organs in the body, each one of them as he chose. If all were a single organ, there would, where would the body be? As it is, there are many parts, yet one body. And it, you kind of get the point. It goes on, and it's good. I mean, we all have different gifts, different abilities, and we can do different things. So, like our body has different parts and pieces. My hand and my foot and my eyes and all that are different. When I slam my finger in, I'm getting old. My granddaughter's even praying for me. I'd stepped out of my truck, stepped into a hole, and as I'm closing the door, I slammed my finger in the door. I tell you what, my entire body focused on that finger for a little while. So if a part of the body is hurting, let's take care of it. And I'm talking, in this culture, there are some people that are hurting right now. Let's get out there and take care of it, and especially in the church, especially in the body of Christ. This is not a religion that we belong to, this is a relationship. Let's take care of the body first and then press down and overflowing. We can help out the world too, but let's take care of our own and show the world, man, we got something that you want. And uh, it might be a better deal than going and preaching and saying you're going to hell because you're lesbian or you're going to hell because you had an abortion or you're, we all sinned and fall short of the glory and that's that. And we, did, we talked about the, the little bit of leaven yesterday and the log in our own eyes. So that was more preaching than we did car building, I think. So. We will see you tomorrow, and have an awesome day, and reach out to somebody. Just, just get, reach out and tell them you love them, and that will be probably bless somebody's day today. So we'll see you tomorrow.